chill at Been high since the 90s and that's where I'm still at They say that I do too much, I just say no If my bag ever runs out, I can't cope Hitting on the best thing that is around me Thanks for rolling up Nighttime conspiracy theories Conspiracy theory Today's theory involves Easter so Let's do it peeps Take a walk with me and prepare for Journey Easter Island A place where mystery is thicker than a Foggy morning after a big bonfire. Giant statues, just big old heads with no secrets. Think again. Recent discoveries have shown these aren't just heads, but full-bodied figures buried up to their stone chins. If that wasn't enough, there's a growing theory that these stoic figures are the world's original stoners. That's right. Imagine a whole island of tranquil statues, eyes half closed, contemplating the waves as if lost in the meaning of life, or just extremely high on something ancient and potent. Let's dig into this theory, piece by piece, and maybe unravel this green mystery. First things first, turns out these statues have more going on beneath the surface, literally. When archaeologists dug down, they uncovered that each moai had a full body with hands resting on their stone stomachs. And those hands, if you look closely, are almost positioned as if they're holding something. Maybe an ancient ball? Hey, it's possible. Some say it's a simple gesture of reference. Come on. Don't those hands look like just a little too poised for peace and love? Like they're holding an island-style joint in one hand and philosophical thoughts in the other. Just look at their expression. Eyes heavily lidded, lips slightly arched. That's not baked then what is here's a riddle for silent giants facing the sea carved from stone yet watching me buried bodies secret deep what am i the blue eye hands ready poised to light up the next here's where things start to smell suspicious back in the day easter island was covered in trees and plants an ecosystem just begging for some experimental gardening while we don't have direct evidence of cannabis growing there island samples suggest that the island's biodiversity could have supported any number of bonantical, bonantical, words, tentacle wonders. I mean, who's to say it wasn't an ancient strain? I like to think they had something called Moai Madness or Rapa Nua Kush. And given the isolation, they could have just enjoyed it peacefully with no judgment from mainlanders. Here's another riddle. Tall and still. With faces long, our history lost, but we stand strong in a room we watch the What are we with secrets? The little imagination, you can see it. Moai statues lined up, gazing out with the same zen intensity as the average couch locked philosopher. Peaceful stone protectors of a paradise lost the time. Let's talk about those faces. The statues, someone who's hit that perfect level of bliss. When we are at peace with the world, where all you need to do is gaze off into the distance and think about life's bigger questions like a wave just nature's version i'm just saying those eyes and serene expressions seems less like they're channeling channeling ch words channeling ancestors and more like they're feeling the effects of ancient rapa nui kush you can practically hear them thinking sand is just wooden was covered by hand from volcanic quiet island Long as the sea but cannot see, ancient mystery am I? It's a mystery as wide as the ocean and twice as hazy. Like the Moai are hiding at hinting some island wide secret known only to them and the birds that occasionally laying on their heads. And who knows, maybe the birds were in on it too. Of course, every good stoner culture has its tools. Rumor has it that archaeologists discovered mysterious carved objects and bows near the statues. Perhaps ancient coconut shell grinders or ceremonial ashtrays. Perhaps some of these could have been used for herbal concoctions. Tools of an ancient cannabis cult that may have ground their herbs as reverently as they carved their gods. Let's not even get started on the munchies. Though I'll say, if I were more, I'd carve some prehistoric pineapple. Don't knock it until you there's a riddle. Face the breeze. Hand on my belly, knees in the trees, long ago crafted by men unknown. Who am I made of solid stone? In the end, statues of Easter Island might be the world's greatest stone-faced mystery. Maybe they are silent, 
witnesses to an ancient island of chill vibes a peaceful utopia that knew how to truly appreciate an ocean breeze and a little island grown herb perhaps in their own silent way they've been trying to tell us for centuries to take it easy to slow down and appreciate the waves crashing into the distance and live life with a little more peace and a little less rush they're like the world's most patient stoners heads held high their expressions calm like they've got it all figured out so next time you're feeling stressed or stuck in the grind remember those ancient faces and let yourself wonder could a little island serenity be the answer because maybe just maybe those moa are on to something timeless the answers to the riddles moai statue cliffs of easter island moai statue moai statue i'll see y'all in the next one